and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Now, um, the last episode we got ourselves a couple of beds here and a new kitchen. We are still expanding the house. And I think we, uh, yeah, we survived the massive battle that we were <laughs> coming towards us. Uh, with a whole bunch of aggressive little aliens and stuff at. Anyways, we managed to get through that. No big deal. Um, but now we have a, a different goal. I would like to get started with electricity. That's the goal. That's the goal, at least. But, of course, that requires us to do some research. The research at the moment, we are researching antibiotics. Antibiotics is a vital resource that we need to have because uh, in the future issues and stuff like that we might get from attacks and everything else, um, particularly diseases, antibiotics will be necessary. Uh, we also have uh, leather. Uh, pretty much everything else we want to do to defend ourselves. We need to build a wall around our compound. Um, but, of course, electric grids will be better. Now, electric grids are great because they give us two couple of things. So besides the generation of power and diesel gen generators and stuff, they give us refrigerators and freezers, which are awesome. Because they allow us to store our food for way longer. And our <laughs> this particular freezer, they don't actually uh, degrade at all. And then after that, uh, once we have electricity going all the way, uh, we can get to uh, some of the more advanced weapons like automated turrets and everything else. That's the that's the goal. That's what we want to have. Uh, so what do we have over here? This is what we already uh, researched. Okay, that's cool. I don't really care about that. We'll leave that alone. Leave them to do their thing. Let them sleep for a bit. All right. So um, one of the things we have to do is, of course, salvage our landing pod, get some more materials. I particularly want to have some more metal alloys. Now, I do need to have metal alloys to keep on uh, building stuff, because as we continue, metal alloys become more and more important. So, um, maybe, perhaps, just maybe, where is it? Where is it? Uh, da -da 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 -da, breakthroughs, power, resources. There is, some, yeah, here, metal refinement. Maybe we should do the metal refinement before we do the power grid generation, so we can start making that beautiful sweet sweet metal uh, alloy we might need that so we'll finish the research for antibiotics and then we'll start with electricity and hopefully we'll get electricity soon um, and that of course depends on how far Krista is doing Krista is our uh, resident researcher she has an intellect beyond everybody else here so that <laughs> she's basically genius level so we need her to keep on researching I'm pretty sure she already knows how to do most of the stuff that we are researching but Eh, I'm gonna leave her to do it. Anyways, so we want to continue with the build. Now, the builder, of course, also. Well, where's my construction? So, yeah, yeah. Krista's also my construction specialist. Everybody else, yeah, pretty much sucks at construction. I'm not even entirely sure if sh if anybody else cares about construction. Look at this, zero, 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 zero. I mean, I might need to um, improve somebody else's construction level. A little bit to replace Krista in case she's researching stuff and we need to rebuild something build something really fast particularly when it comes to the wall I don't want to have Krista constantly just doing that only only over and over again she's gonna be pretty good at building and stuff right? but it's gonna be a bit of a yeah, especially when she gets hurt and stuff and we need to wait until she's re uh, healed and so on that's gonna be a bit of a pain all right now um, let's see if we can make ourselves a little bit of a wall so we have the option to build a fence and a stone fence, that's what we want. We have 70 stone at the moment. We need to go and get some more stone. We have some more stone over here. And I think close to the wall over here with the great, uh, the, the, basically the, the rocks and stuff. And we have some more stone over here. It's pretty far away, but I think we can manage. Now the fence is, this fence is going to be our first line of defense for currently. The buildings and stuff like after that is the last line of defense. But for now, let's just leave it like this. Let's go all the way down to there. I need I need one single entrance or at least one single um, gate that would be preferable nope dust storm is done let's just quickly go around like that this is a buddy tree in the way here and right, nice let's go all the way around to there then down to there I think, yeah, we'll have to go around the crash site for a little bit. <coughs> like so. Alright. We're going to start with that. That'll be great. And we'll get some more stone, some more rock. 
can we research? Can we can we cut this? Is there any way to harvest? Are you harvest? No, you're not harvestable. You're not ready yet. I have to wait until it's done. <coughs> All right. Now the wall, of course, doesn't have any gates. So we better put some gates in there. We want a fence. Uh, do we want a fence gate or do we want a fence door? We want a fence gate that lets, lets more of these bugs inside. But a fence door is something a bit provides access to fences. Yeah, it's, it's kind of useful. So we want a couple of these fences, sticks and. St Scrap metal fences. I do the scrap metal fences. Those are I like those ones. So we'll put a scrap metal fence here, and we'll put another scrap metal fence. Uh, put it here, there, and then this is where I would like to do most of my attacking or defense, uh, basically defending the base. So here is where I want to have my fence gate. Uh, somewhere around here like that it's good all right so that's great now this is going to be the gate that's always open right put another fence gate over here like that allows them access to every single side of the camp pretty good now the reason why i'm leaving this open is because any open gate when we get attacked and stuff right the aliens and so on want to get inside our base and the best way to get into the base is through the open gate so they, they are reasonably intelligent, intelligent enough to realize that there's a gate open. So they come over here and they try to get in. Oh, shit, Savannah doesn't have any food. Can somebody go and give her food? We have tons of uh, raw insect meat, right? Can we give her that? Uh, animal carnivore. Let's give her some insect meat, like so. And we don't have any more normal raw meat. So this is, this is let's just get rid of that one. We'll have to get go back to hunting again sometime soon. I think that she's not happy at the moment. <laughs> yeah, she's hungry. Did somebody give her some food? Nobody? Nobody wants to give her food? Uh, come on, guys. You all have nine meals, but she doesn't have any. Give her some food. Poor little Savannah. Uh, wish Savannah could... I wish I could pet Savannah and give her the food myself. But anyways, I, I just... I don't have any hands. All I have is this cursor. I can only point at stuff. <laughs> I can't pick up stuff. <laughs> All right, now the reason why I have, let's continue with the, with the gate. The reason why I have the gate over here is because I want to put traps here. So I want to put traps um, as these will s keep the enemy uh, occupied so that we can shoot them and kill them. And killing them is very important. All right, excellent. So that's all good. We can also just drag and drop, but I, I'm just going to put them like this. It's fine. All right, there we go. Whole bunch of traps. And we will ex advance these and upgrade them once we have better uh, traps and better tools and so on. So now this is the beginning of our tower-based defenses. We will extend this out later on and turn it into a bit of a maze, uh, allowing for our people to take, take pot shots at them while they're traversing the maze before they can get into the base. And then, of course, they have to, these enemies and stuff, uh, these aggressive aliens and so on, will have to um, contend with all sorts of manner of traps and other uh, devices that will keep trying to keep them killed <laughs> keep them dead anyways well that will that will eventually happen so we'll extend the 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 the, the construction out here to make it into a little bit of a maze and that will that will, that will allow us uh more time more time is what we need we don't want them to get close to our to our colonists or i mean our colonists our survivors and the more time we give our colonists i mean our survivors um the chance to shoot at these people these little creatures, not people. Uh, the bigger the chances that they'll survive. So we want that. We want that all. All right. So can we can we harvest this thing? Is this harvestable? Yes. It's harvestable. Get some more coffee. I mean, um, bloody hell! What am I talking about? This is <laughs> this is not coffee. This is smoker. Is um, oh bloody hell! It's uh, tobacco. That's right, tobacco. All right. We'll get Pauline to Paulette to keep cooking there. He's uh, removing this. Great. So has anybody picked up any stone yet? I don't think so. Are you harvesting? Yeah, she's harvesting. Great, we'll get a lot more food. Now that grain's coming in, we can start. Ooh. Why are you? What are you doing here? Let's hunt you down. Get some more meat. Hunter without ranged weapons too. That's great. Uh, Xander. Uh, Savannah, are you gonna be okay? Um, um, she's looking at the thing. Whoa! Xander, that wasn't smart, man. You need to aim properly. 
Savannah, come on, help! <laughs> She's not helping. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Okay, Xander's in big ass danger. Alright, everybody else. Uh, I'm gonna draft you. I'm gonna draft you. I'm gonna draft you. This was this completely went out of out of uh, out of control. Everybody else, fight! All right, so let's undraft everybody. Nobody got hurt except for Xander, who apparently. Uh, Misjudge that. Let's say it that way. <laughs> All right, let's go butcher these guys. Butcher you. Butcher you. Xander, of course, is my my go-to butcher guy. But of course, he got a broken bone, and he is yeah, he had a serious bite. I need a better rifle. Now, the best way to get a better rifle in this game is to research long-distance travel. That opens up the rest of the map, right? Not this map, but the world map, and allows us to go and explore. Um, different areas and different regions and other crash sites which is kind of important trouble of course is that it requires a lot of fuel which you don't we don't well we have 80 fuel at the moment it's not enough maybe two trips <laughs> that's not much damage structures we got some damage on this door I think they try to get in there Xander ran right into the kitchen what is Xander if I gave you a pistol so that you could take things out and what do you do? You miss. <laughs> Three times. And Savannah, you are a useless dog. Why do you why do I even have you? Can I can I can I um I would I would like to train you to actually help when we are being attacked? That's a useless dog. Uh retail reaching healing. Yeah, it's one of the things that the, the, the devs were talking about, that they wanted to increase the, the AI of the of the, the tamed animals and stuff that they actually do help when there's a uh, when there's a bit of a fight. Sometimes, sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. It's a bit annoying, but nothing we can do about that at the moment. I need to get rid of these bushes. Can I get rid of you? There's 33 bushes. No, that's too, way too many. Can I get rid of you, 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 that one, that one, and that one? Yes. Let's cut you up. All right, Xander's back. Oh no, he's not. That's that Xander over there. He's, uh, he's, he got treated nicely. See how much, uh, how much did we waste? A couple of bandages. Uh, let's go make some more bandages. Okay, we have 10 in the pipeline. Let's wait until that's done. <coughs> wait, where did this thing go to? Did they, did somebody already butcher that? Did we get meat out of that? Yes, we got 24 meat. Excellent. Uh, Rita over here is going to be butchering this one. That's good stuff. Why, why did she put it here on the floor? Why did, why did she do that? Why didn't she just put it on the rack? Or maybe she just butchered it and then it went directly into this into the building instead of outside? <laughs> it's kind of weird. Well, that that bit of meat is going to be... I think somebody's going to move it eventually. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well, well, otherwise we'll tell Rita to go and get... Hey, Rita. Helmet girl. Go get this. Haul red meat. Red raw meat. All right, we refine. We've researched metal refinement. It's quite nice. So now we actually have the ability. Start the animal. One. Oh, bloody hell! Somebody go and give this guy some food. Where's Rita? Can Can you go and bring food to Savannah? Savannah needs the food. Somebody give Savannah some food. I know they they only care about themselves. <laughs> but I would like you guys to do also help your friendly neighborhood doggies. Come on, give the doggies some food. Excellent. Savannah doesn't like it though. I don't think she likes it. Can you can you eat? Are you stupid? Oh, you're actually going to talk to Pellet. All right. All right. Now we have, which is good, the ability to produce a new production building. Uh, not building, but it needs this this. Uh, Facility. Let's go turn you around. Why can't I put you here? Blocking objects. Which objects? Oh yeah, we can. We can't build it outside or inside the building because it's the the the, the chimney is too large. So we'll have to put it back here. Let's just put it here. And um, I want to have two of these. We'll build more of them eventually, up to the point where we have like maybe six of them in total. But for now, two is fine. 
that will give us the alloy that we need. And as we get um, further ahead, we'll probably need more and more alloy. But for now, this will be fine. All right, we still have a, we have a ton of food, so I am thinking we are doing okay. We have three weapons, a crossbow. Okay, let's see what what weapon do you have? What what weapon do you have? You have no ranged weapon. Do you have a ranged weapon? No, no, mm, yes, and no. Okay, do we have a spear? We do have a spear. Xander, I need you to get a, a spear. Your little knife is worthless. So he's getting a spear. Perfect. Let's give somebody else a ranged weapon. Let's see what they like to do. Do they actually like to fight? Somebody who has instant physical, healing, crafting, cooking, combat is zero, combat is zero, combat is three, four, two. So I'll give you the crossbow that should allow you to help Xander when we have to do ranged attacks and eventually we'll get a rifle a better rifle and then we'll give that to her as well or to Xander whichever one comes first <laughs> I also need to check out their clothing let's see what's how they how the clothing are hanging up so you're okay you're okay you're okay Xander yeah you're fine you do have these weird little elf shoes though I'm not quite sure those are good light summer shoes Hmm. All right. I don't think anybody seems to be cold, though. So I think we're fine. So can we ferment something in here? Let's see. Antibiotics. Perfect. Let's go and ferment some antibiotics. Uh, it takes grain, which is great. Um, we have that. So let's go ahead and ferment that in that barrel. Oh, you're all going to sleep? Cool. All right. All right. Let's see. Where's Xander? Xander is making himself happy in the dark. <laughs> Oh, he's harvesting all this stuff. Beautiful. We all have grain for days. I think we should put down a couple more barrels. We have some space over here. Uh, so that should be good. Let's go put another couple barrels down. See, I want another... Well, we have these scrap metal barrels. Uh, grain into alcoholic beverages or antibiotics and vegetables. This is, they do exactly the same thing. Trouble is we can't make alcohol yet because... Well, I actually don't know why. <laughs> I don't think we've researched it yet. We'll research it eventually. I mean, if you can, if you can ferment uh, fruit or vegetables, whatever, into some kind of concoction, I'm pretty sure you could get that uh, into a, uh, a an alcoholic thing as well. Just leave it in there until it just it starts to smell a bit, <laughs> and then you can smell it. And if it tastes, if it smells like alcohol, then it probably is alcohol. All right, we have meat. We have all this beautiful. Well, we that uh, bloody hell! Come on, people. You can't just leave it here. It's already dropped by by five percent. Shelf life has gone down. Uh, at least we have enough food to keep everybody nice and happy. Five people. Eventually, that will turn into seven. We'll have to see if anybody else comes. It's a purely a random thing, I think, or a quest—not a quest, but maybe a time-based thing. But eventually, more people will join us. Can always say no of course you don't know how to treat uh, how to treat them all right now i don't i need to stop getting i want to get the electricity grid right but i need somebody else to do some more building let's go to manage let's go to activities now nobody likes to build in this company nobody likes that everybody else is like oh, I don't like okay but anyways let's do let's put somebody on because you can see that Pauletta Rita and Xander for instance they all dislike well they don't they don't even have a, a number for how much, how much they hate construction let's put Layla on this as well so Layla will do uh, construction before she does um, what healing or what what do you like to do indifferent she doesn't like cooking farming farming she likes she likes farming healing and farming that's what she likes physical labor and healing so before she does any kind of healing stuff i want her to do some construction work and that should be fine what do you got are you holding some more grain perfect where are you bringing that are you bringing it to the well, can't you just bring it there no <laughs> he's bringing it to the, t to the cupboard over here we still have some raw food in here i don't want to have vegetables in here anymore I want all these vegetables and stuff to go in here instead. So these uh, these are raw foods. Maybe we should build an additional uh, wooden storage shelf. Kind of thinking that maybe we need that. 
kind of wondering where we can put it though. I mean, we do have some space. I want to have some space for the dartboard. I need that to continue to stay that. Maybe once we have this built, um, we can build this into a storage facility. I think we'll do that. We'll have to, that, that space is technically, I actually reserved it for the fridge and freezer and stuff like that, but we can just put up some shelves there as well for now. And then get rid of this, uh, this kind of thing. There's no difference. It's still under a under a sheet of whatever. Uh, it's, it's inside of a building, so the the longevity of whatever's in there, in the shelves and stuff, like that, is still the same as over here. So that doesn't change. But um, it'll be closer to the cooking stove. So that that's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right, so anybody else going to do some work? Are you going to construct a fermentation barrel? Jayla. Okay, so she's going to like... To, she wants to do that. It's good, good, good. So she's going to do some construction stuff. I want Zano to help with construction as well, but he really, really doesn't like that. So he likes combat and physical stuff. Hmm. I think he's also in pain, isn't he? Yeah, he's in mild pain. That's going to continue. That's going to continue to get worse and worse and worse as the time as time progresses. His chronic uh, pains and stuff that will become worse, and then he'll become more moody. You can say. All right, we got some more fermentation. Look, this one's done already. Let's go ferment some more antibiotics. Uh, let's see, five, ten, yeah. Pickled vegetables. Boom. 13. Why not? It's a random number. <laughs> Handling fermentation bell. Good, uh, good job, Paulette. She, uh, she likes the cooking stuff. And since she has already cooked all the foods that we need, this is going to be fine. All right, we'll, look at, we'll have to let her do her. Well, I want to actually kind of... What are you going to do? You know, dump it in there. Close it. <laughs> Where did you put the water? Uh, anyways. Uh, Xander, I need you for some other stuff. You would like to do physical labor stuff. Come on, get me some more stone. Mine those two rocks for me, please. Thank you. It'll get him a bit happier because he likes doing mindless stuff. He doesn't like doing uh, all this, the thinking part. The thinking hurts him. He doesn't like that. So we'll get some more rocks. We'll select some of these rocks as well for mining and get enough rocks to finish our border. Now, I think, I think they already... No, they didn't go past here with any rocks yet. Nobody else went here with any wood yet. So because... Krista over here has been our go-to builder. Nothing's getting done because she's doing research at the moment. So we want to have Z uh, Jayla do that for us. Trouble is, yeah, she doesn't like construction that much. So she wants, she prefers to go farming instead. So let's get her to do the thing that she needs that we need to, to do. Let's put that to one. That's your priority. Go do that. Insufficient material, 332 stone. That yeah, explains why they haven't finished the wall yet. We only have 110 stone at the moment, but it's coming. It's coming. Xander's doing that. How's your happiness? It's, uh, it's going pretty low. Extremely unhappy. Risk of meltdown. Well, <laughs> he's hungry and he's in pain. Okay. So we got 18 more stone coming in, which is great. That should help us with that a little bit. We still need a couple more. 290. That's a lot of stone. That's a lot of stone. But I think once we have Xander um, hook up, start mining this stone over here, I think that'll be enough. I think that'll be enough. So where is he at? Xander is moving. Okay, look at He's putting the stone down. Great. And now I want Jayla. Where's Jayla? Xander, are you okay? <laughs> He's close to a, a meltdown. Because this happiness is way, way below normal. Where's Jayla? Uh, Jayla is still harvesting that. Okay, so you can harvest that. Last two little bits. What? what? No, just... Mm. There's one more. I know what's going to happen. Tomorrow morning, you're going to wake up, come all over here, and harvest this puppy over here, instead of just finishing off your work. Bloody test. Okay, well, that's uh, that, we'll have to deal with that eventually. Should be enough mood. Run. Risk of meltdown of Xander. Yeah, I know that. All right, electric goods. We have research electric goods, which is great. So we can now start looking into making some some uh, lights and stuff like that, which of course will be great. Trouble is, of course, we don't have any electricity yet. Uh, we have power poles, we have a power cell generator, and we have a power switch. We don't have any power cells at the moment, I think. 
Where where is that power cell stuff? Uh, I don't see it. No, we don't have any power cells. At least I don't think so. No cute research. All right. Well, let's just let Krista uh, work on that a bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna go and check out the research. Now we have diesel generators we can research, refrigerators, and electric smelting. Solar panels require electronics. Uh, so we have to find that first before we can actually start researching that, which we can do, we can do. Um, but we need to have somebody actually go over here and take this puppy apart. So we need Xander. <coughs> Where is Xander? Oh, he's harvesting stuff? Oh, that makes him happy. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, where's, where's Krista? Krista is doing the flooring over here. Great. Let's reach cook number five. She's a great cook. I like her. She works good. Let's go. Uh, she's making more bandages. Also good. It's very important that we get the bandages. Um, maybe we can get Krista. I need somebody who likes labor. Uh, physical. That's four. Xander. No, no, no. So we, I want maybe Jayla. Jayla's currently looking into... Where is Jayla? Where did Jayla go? Jayla's there. She's planting. Bloody hell. Jayla. Alright, where's Xander? He's, he's eating. Is he eating? No, he's transporting stuff. Bloody hell. I need... Um, we got a heat wave coming in. Bloody test. Okay, well, that's great. Now, a heat wave is annoying because that, in, that just raises the temperature outside <clears throat> by 8 degrees plus. So that's kind of annoying. Let's go. Not. I don't want you to plant. I want you to salvage this. I need some electronics so we can start making the um so we can start building some of these electronic machines and stuff like electricity generation stuff so if you can get me some of the control panels something computerish <laughs> that would be great oh, look how slow that is you, uh, do you need a screwdriver you, uh, why is everything a nail in your life you're just hammering away with it with a bloody hammer not knowing that a screwdriver or opening the door so you can get inside would be probably be more effective. I need those things in one piece, okay? <laughs> Where's Jayla? Ah, Jayla's still planting stuff. I know this is important because we need food, right? We need we need food and we need everything else. But um, I also need her to do construction work. Well, Krista is, is doing this stuff. Well, she's doing really good work. What are you doing right now? Are you moving some stone? Letters having a heat stroke. And let's just take your jacket off. Why don't you? Don't drop it on the bloody floor. Bring it somewhere. <laughs> somewhere safe. So how is your heat stroke coming? Yeah, you're getting close to a heat stroke as well. Let's just get that jacket off. So Paletta's already undressed. Let's get that jacket off. How about you? You're fine. And you're also fine. Well, that's okay. So everybody else seems to be a good... Krista over here is taking her jacket off. It's great. Maybe the helmets too. You know? Helmets do compress the brain a little bit. I'm kind of wondering if this is good. What are you making? You're making hats. Unfinished finished baseball caps. Okay. She'll get what we're doing with that. She's sweating crazily though. She's really unhappy with that. Now the problem is... Oh, antibiotics research. Yeah, nice. We got some antibiotics. Excellent. The problem is I do have the ability to heat the place. I have a heating stove. I have a fireplace. I have a heater. Um, I don't have any way of cooling things down at the moment. Now, we do eventually get the option to research um, heat pumping. It's basically a form of um, yeah, air conditioning. But the problem is it's, it, it takes a lot to research. We need to have CPU cores. We need to have electronics done before then. And I don't, I don't see us researching that yet. Anytime soon, at least. That'll be a while. Oh, look. She's got the wall up. Nice. Now, this wall gives us the option to actually shoot over it while the creatures are trying to get through us. So they'll have to get bash through the wall before they can get to us, which is great. This is going to be a good... St we got some power cells. Nice. Um, and we have one power cell. Hmm. What the hell? I want electronics. Can we get electronics? No, they don't have. I need to put Xander on the on the on the scavenge list again. 
You need to get scavenging. How is your happiness? You are way, way unhappy. There's nothing I can do about your gloomy personality. Your drowsiness is just, you just need to get sleep. And your little bit of pain. Uh, these two over here, these two, uh, must have bad bits and stuff and his personality. I can't really do anything about that. He's going to be like that forever. Is anybody going to build this? I just need a little bit of stone. Just a little bit of stone. Do we not have any more stone? We still have 75 stone. So we should be able to get somebody started on this wall. I mean, this part of over here is also done. Hmm. Xander is enjoying a little bit of, uh, of him time. Let's leave him alone. How are you guys doing? Oh, it's a bit dark over here, isn't it? What? Did Krista fart? <laughs> Paulette is <laughs> waving her hand like something's smelly. Ooh, what's the smell? What's that smell? It's Krista. That's why she left. Is it better now? Everything okay now? Yeah, Paulette is okay now. Look at him. Oh, look at her. Can handle the torch. Getting some more branches. I want electricity because then we don't also have to handle the torches anymore. Because that makes it a little bit better. We can also put a centralized light source right on the ceiling. And that allows um, for everything to be lit up. Instead of having to do... Uh, having little bits of corners and stuff that is still dark. It's kind of annoying. Alright, so Xander is asleep. He'll probably wake up soon. Um, Krista is still nice and happy. She, Poletta is pretty happy. Uh, Rita is pretty happy. And Xander, he's snoring, sleeping away. He's a bit, yeah, he's not very happy though. And Jayla, she's really happy. Everybody seems to be really happy at the current state. And that can, of course, change. Um, but we'll see what happens. Now, we also have the option in the research to research oil. And insect facts, basically just basically the same thing. If we can get uh, insect facts and so on for foods, and oil for also for food. Uh, and if we go to the kitchen, and we go to the like this, and we go to the quick re well, no, tasty recipes. Uh, bread, for instance, that's a nice thing to have. It increases the happiness by plus twelve for vegetarians, right? So vegetarians can eat this, um, but it requires fats or oils. So we can either make that. And since we have so much grain, this is probably a good idea to research eventually. Uh, we have meat pies. That takes meat and cactus fruit, which we don't have. So we can't really make this, which is a bit of a pain. Veggie pizza. Um, juice leaf. I haven't found any yet, so this is going to be a bit of a pain. And the pizzas look purplish, so I'm not entirely sure if they should eat this. And then we have meat stew. Um, that takes a lot of stuff, but it, it is something we can make from oil and meat. So that's pretty good to do. It also gives you a 12, plus 12 uh, happiness bonus, which is great. And then veggie stew, yeah, uh, we'll have to see. But pretty much what we need to do is get some oils. About to rot away. What do we have to rot away? Oh, it's another food thing. It's probably what Pauletta was smelling. <laughs> At least I hope so. All right, let's get some more research done. I need um, oil extraction. We'll get some oil out of this. Now, the problem with oil extraction, of course, um, the, one of the good things about oil extraction is it also gets us fuels. But uh, the problem is that it's a very labor-intensive process. So uh, we have to wait until we get somebody on that. And we have other things to do. Now, I need to also go hunting sometime. Let's see if we can find something to hunt. We have it on the dromedar over here. We only have 28 raw meat. And we have very little insect meat at the moment. We have 11 dried meat. So we definitely need to go hunting this guy. Let's go hunt him down. Hunt him with ranged weapon. And the problem at the moment is that we only have one ranged weapon. That's that pistol. And it doesn't do that much damage. So he, we can't really expect Xander to, do, uh, to go hunting. Or at least not on his own. Or not with some of the more dangerous animals. And we, uh, it seems to be... And we have a dromedary over here. Very little in the way of actual hunting targets. Uh, we might we might have a little bit of a problem in the future with com when it comes to hunting. So I don't see anything... There's no creatures moving into the region. We have some more hunting targets here. These little fat bloated guys. Bloated insects. But for the rest, nothing spectacular. 
Now we might need to wait until we get attacked again to get a whole uh, bundle of more meat coming. So here's one of the bloated insects and stuff. It's pretty far away still. I'm guessing we're going to have a more vegetarian diet in a bit as we uh, we get through this the, the meat that we do have. Unless we're going to be the freezer. If we get a freezer uh, soon, we can pack that meat away and uh, and keep it for uh, periods where we actually need it. So right now, this meat, for instance, is already... Look, it's going down to 14. <laughs> Although we do have 30, 39 dried meat over here waiting. So that, that's that's not good. All right, everybody awake? Come on, the sun's up. I didn't put any windows in here, so they don't know that the sun's up. Why did they wake up all at the same time? I really don't find <laughs> those helmets ridiculous. I mean, I know why they're wearing the helmet. Uh, oh, yeah, it's pretty hot. Let's just, let's just extinguish that. Can you turn that off? Let's just handle that. Good. So that reduces the heat. I completely forgot about that. That must have been really hot. <laughs> how warm is it in here? Uh, let's see. How, how warm is it in this place here? It's it's uh, 9 degrees Celsius. Okay, but that's not that bad. 9 degrees Celsius is not that bad. Petting Savannah. Alright, Savannah is no longer hungry. I think she already ate. What the hell? Oh, we have one of you guys again. You guys coming in? Just don't eat the meat. I don't. I didn't put it in a proper cupboard. Oh, she, he's eating the meat. <laughs> everybody, I need you all to to help with the killing. So everybody, come and kill this guy. Let's come over here. Boom. Come over here. Boom. You two. No, he's running away. He's running away. He's getting away. Stop him. <laughs> uh, animal attacking. Ah, oh, Xander. Why are you so stupid? Zen is being stupid again. And he's running back for the kitchen, I'm pretty sure of it. Alright, excellent. That creature's dead. So, Xander. <laughs> I thought you liked... <laughs> I thought he liked combat, but no. He likes to run away. Let's just undraft all of you guys. Rita's hunting the dromedary now. Planting palms. Okay, you go do that. Rita, is this smart? You only have a, a an arrow... And Xander is injured again. Well, let's just see how you do it. Oh, oh you actually hit something. Nice. Doesn't do much damage, though. No, too far away. Alright, take him up. She's doing a better job than Xander. Zana got real close and got bit. Almost dead. Basically, we could stop the hunt right now and he would die from bleeding. Eventually. Look at all those wounds. Arrow wound. There we go. Dead. Let's butcher that. Oh, wait. Butcher that, please. And then uh, we'll get some more meat coming. Perfect. We already have a bit of meat now. See, we got 29 raw meat. Wait, did we not butcher that guy over here? The big... Uh... Oh, he's not butchered yet. So let's let's go ahead and butcher him. Butcher that, please. Thank you. Excellent. So we'll get some more food coming in. Some more meat. It's great. That means we can continue making the meat stew. And we have some more research to do as well. I think once we have oil extraction researched... I would like to get started with long distance travel. I think that might be something. Pacifiers, I don't think that's very necessary. Some animals are too hostile to be tamed, but a modified version of the crossbow shooting poison bolts could solve this. Of course, such a weapon will only slow down the creature, and many of the arrows wouldn't go deep enough to cause an effect. Which is a bit of a pain. So I'm not quite sure what we should do with that. But what I do like is the long distance travel. That should open up quite a bit for us. I mean, the flamethrowers and the incendiary traps, we'll have to wait for later. We have so much to research still. Oh, and cereal coffee. Grains is known to have some stimulant, uh, stimulative properties when properly tempered with. 
Cereal coffee is not as good a stimulant as the common cough, but does restore some energy in the tired body and will slightly improve consciousness, movement, and manipulation. All right, well, that's great. Now, we researched uh, oil extraction. Let's go get Krista to do some building before we get her back to work. Um, what do we need over here? We need some more stone. I need Xander. Where is Xander? Xander is butchering that animal now. Uh, does nobody care about this? <laughs> Where's Jayla? Jayla, she's planting stuff. I, uh, I wish I could send them out to do other jobs. But right now at the moment, what they're doing is just equally vital. Food needs to be uh, maintained. We need to keep get, making more more food. So this is definitely important. And Xander is transporting a lunch, bunch of food for us as well. This is a leather. It's hides. Okay, let's have to wait until we get that also. Rita is planting some palms. Um, wait, did, does Rita enjoy planting? Does she like that? Farming. She's interested in farming. Jayla is interested in farming. So we got two farmers. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to send Jayla over here to go do some mining. I need the mine. I mean, I need the rock. I need the rock. Go do some work, Jayla. Your happiness is massively over. So look at 99%. She's... She's incredibly happy with what she's doing right now at the moment. So, and I need the stone. Where are you going? Constructing a fence. Wait, where are you? What, what, what are you doing? Constructing a fence. Why are you constructing it over there? Oh, you're getting some more stone. All right, fine. Get some more stone. I would have, it would have been cool if these animals were also hostile. Right? So you had some animals in the environment that just, that were just uh, actively hostile towards your people. They didn't have to spawn in. They're just always hostile. So if you got too close, they would go after your people. That, that would be cool. But none of these animals actually attack you at the moment. It's a bit of a shame. I think it's a missed opportunity there. All right, let's get some more stone in here. So Jayla over here is mining. And Xander has dropped off the meat. I want him to come over here. No, to go and do some more scavenging. I need, I need those electronic parts. I can't have him... Um, waste his time with planting at the moment. So uh, where's Rita? Rita, so can you can you plant this field? She's currently planting. Wait, what are you doing actually? Oh, she's planting this stuff. She was planting this stuff, which is important as well because we need the wood. But right now, there's more than enough wood to go around, right? So this is not of vital importance. But planting the food and stuff that is kind of important. What are you doing, dude? Are you just being angry because you can is that what's happening <laughs> what is this over here this is cloth blossom all right that's also important we need some more cloth as well because once we get started with actually tailoring stuff like clothing and so on we'll need that cloth all right xander is doing that beautiful we're getting 170 stone from jayla here transporting 100 wow she is strong that's 100 stone oh we have you guys you're you're nice and cool. Let's just observe you. See what kind of a creature you are. So we get observing this guy as well, and that might help us understand a little bit more about the. Oh, what do you got? We Paul, that's got a heat stroke. Did you put your jacket back on? No, I didn't. Can I take this off? Can I take this off? I'm kind of wondering if we can take this off. Oh no! Did you? Oh, ships! Is the game crashing again? No. Please. So the game crashed again. A bit of a pain, but. Um, and, I, and, I, and I had to restore the, the game a bit to a previous save. Uh, so we uh, the, the attack from those two uh, long-tailed reptiles and stuff right, was a bit painful. Layla got hurt. She's currently being treated. Xander over here actually did a good job with the uh, with the dromedary. So that's, that's great. He's coming back with 40 meat at the moment. Uh, but nobody, of course, went to harvest any of the stone. That's a bit of a pain. And uh, nobody is currently working on uh, scavenging the or salvaging the pod. So we need to get that back started again. So as soon as Jayla is back up and running again, she's waiting treatment. Let's see what is what's wrong with you? You need um, bite and shattered bone. Hmm. So these creatures, these long le long tailed buggers, are a bit of a pain. Handling war tor war, war torch? Now can you butcher this? Can you butcher this guy? All extraction has been researched. Beautiful. So we got another um, processing, uh, the oil press over here, a processing tool. 
You can get rid of this thing. Let's just get rid deconstruct that. Let's also deconstruct you. We get a little bit more space so we can put these um, these oil presses in here. So currently, what we can do... So this oil press basically takes uh, grain and turns it into vegetable oil, which is great. And we have two options, the metal alloy or the uh, well, wood construction one. I don't think there's a difference, but it just depends on what you have available. All right, so we could put it here, uh, maybe like, like so, and station here so that we can have this press, but it's outside. I'm not entirely sure if I like that. I can put it there. Between the two beds. I need to deconstruct those beds anyway. Uh, we can put it here close to the to the to the to the food anyway. Um, kind of wondering what we can we can put it here for now. Let's just put it here for now. It's a tool. It's not really something that can that can, that will uh, degrade over time when it's when it's not inside or indoors. So this will be fine. Xander, what are you doing? Xander is planting. I don't want you to plant. I want you to scavenge. So go salvage that pod. Jayla, she's still in bed, recovering. She has a bit of a euphoria in her brain. So she is, uh, yeah, <laughs> she's pretty happy. Look at that. Euphoria. Yeah, I get that. I get that. She's, she's, um, she's, she's a little bit overly excited. Chris over here is working on the, po on the, on the fence, which is good. Uh, we need that. And if I go to research, let's see, what else do we need? We need to go and research the long distance travel. I'll wait until we have the fence done. Now, long distance travel is great, but there's always a but in these situations. The but is that it actually takes away a person from your camp. It requires a person to manually um, control the, the, the balloon. And that person has to go away for a couple of days. And in the meantime, you are suddenly with one person less. And if we get attacked while that person's away, yeah, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. So we'll wait until the wall's done to start that research. In the meantime, of course, we can start with the wall. So we have uh, some more housing to do. Let's go put a build a room around here. So we have the building over here looks like this right now. And if we were to go and build uh, medium thermal insulations, okay, it's not so great. See, the stone room is also medium insulation. This is awful. This is awful. This is fine, I guess. We can always research better housing. And the, the thermal insulation for the for the concrete, for instance, is way better than what we currently have. So let's put a door here. So a wooden one as well. I put a door... We can do it, like, put it there? Should we put it there? I'm not quite sure if we want to put it there. Let's put it here. Uh, let's look at this. We want to put a door here as well, right? So if I put a door, a doorway, let's put a doorway. Let's put a doorway here in this corner. That'll be good. Then they can move into this space. And then if I put a door <coughs> right here, Kind of wondering. They don't need to step up. You don't need that little step. It's great. I can put a door there. Let's put a door there. That should allow us um, some Poletta has a heat stroke again. Poletta, you are constantly suffering from heat strokes. I mean, it is kind of hot at the moment, but damn. Let's just, can we can we harvest some of these palms? Let's just, let's just select some of these palms for harvesting. I want the eleven palm trees. Let's cut those down. The bushes can stay, the palms need to go. So we currently have 69 wood, so it's not enough. All right, so um, let's see what Xander, I need some electronic parts. The power cell is great, but I don't really use it because I don't I don't want to. I mean, we could build a, um, a power cell generator, right? But I, do, I don't really like it. <laughs> it's a bit of a waste. And those power cells are useful for other things, particularly weapons later on in the game. And they're very rare. So I would rather not use the power cells. All right, he's going to get something to eat. Beautiful. And then once he's done with that, we'll send him right back out here to start conti to continue salvaging. Because we need those electronics. Anyways, that will, we'll get that in the next episode. Right now, I think we did enough. Enough damage, at least. 
We'll get some of these trees cut down, we'll get this house built, and we'll get that kitchen extended. Uh, maybe we'll remove the wall. I don't know. I think that the wall. We'll, we'll just keep. We'll keep the wall. The door will be fine, and we'll turn this space. This space into a nice little cozy uh, storage area where you can keep the the food and the meat and stuff at nicely away from everything else. Put it inside, which would be great. Uh, but that will be done in the episode next one. Uh, but for now, I think uh, that'll be it. So if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't leave it, just like it's fine. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.